guys. It is early Saturday morning and the sun's not out yet, which is why it's dark. But there's the barn. I'm sitting in my truck, so sorry for the diesel noise. But I'm trying to warm up because it's freezing. Um, anyhow, I just gave Mia her breakfast and I need to go grab my tack from my trailer. You can't see me because it's dark. Um, yeah, I need to figure out where I'm allowed to lunge and wait until it's a little bit lighter and so I can lunge. I'm freezing and I gotta go. Bye. It's a little bit lighter now. Um, I'm over at my trailer. I'm procrastinating getting out, grabbing my stuff and changing because it is that cold. I have the heater on, which is why it's loud. But I just wanted to show you how cool it is. You can see the mountains and it's kind of foggy, although a lot of it's going away. There's more cross country out over there. Um, over there's the track. They're getting ready for a big soccer tournament. So hopefully I can get all my uh, dressage in since my dressage time is 8.07 a.m. I'm the second to go for the day. Hopefully I can get that in before they start soccer. This is one of the arenas and that's all you can see from here. But I just thought it was really pretty because we usually don't get that. And everything's green because it's been raining so much. It's awesome though. It's so pretty right there. Here's the Mia. I've um, already groomed her, brushed her tail, she has a boot on, got a lingerie. Ling. We're gonna go see. Oh, you better not be doing that all day, girl. Going over to see where we're allowed to lunge. Mia, it's about 7.09, so we need to hurry up, Mia. That's what she's looking at. And it is freezing cold. And there's mad soccer tournaments going on right below the dressage testing arena. And the racetrack warm-up area. There's racehorses out there training and tons of soccer kids. Looks good. I'm not the expert either. though. Just a mom. Moms think everything looks good. Oops, wrong direction. Need to zoom out. See, check out this corner where you can't take the horse all around the arena. So they're letting her have an extra minute in there to walk around because she won't be able to circle the whole arena. The first one already scratched. This would have been the second person. Her number's 117. Thank you. Sure. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. My 
looking good, Mia. She, can't this way. she knows. She's got to talk to the judge. Practicing. This is interesting to be allowed inside the arena to. Do you lose her butt? Yes, you do. It's normal. That's, it's, that's, nice. it's a normal thing. Is it? Yes. Good yeah. morning. Is this someone we check in with? For what? For dressage? Yes. yes. Let me find him. His name is Brad. I don't know where he just went, but the, your judge is right there. So okay. I will find him. Brad's right oh, there. Brad's up there. The man in the blazer. So proud of Mia. Thank you. She's doing very good with all that soccer craziness going on right below her. Getting used to it, right? Well, you remember how normally they get to go around the entire outside? Yeah. Okay. Since they can't hit this corner, they're going to let her go around a couple times inside. For a little warm up. She's going to be a silhouette. It's so early in the morning. There's no good place to stand and get a good shot. I know, she's so pretty. She's so pretty. A good girl.
Okay, well, dressage test is done, and I noticed a polka dot, but... From the black shadow. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Maybe they were perfectly white earlier, now they're polka dot. black on the crotch, but you yeah. really don't want to see that. Oh, sorry, Mia. The shoe was really good. I mean, it wasn't perfect, and there was a few uh, fun parts of the canter. Well, well, I just learned that I stood in the worst place possible to film. Well, I wouldn't call it the worst possible, but it wasn't ideal. Like, you cross the diagonal, and we're coming straight at you, and you have a phone up. She's like, what is that? Oh. So we lost our trot in our corner a little bit. Sorry, Mia. But Sorry, Karen. Well, though. But uh, she was really good, just like soccer. I was very impressed. Yeah, there was crazy soccer going very on below. Impressive. I should have filmed the soccer down she below. She was perfect in warm-up. Later on, I'll go film just how well, crazy it was. What I mean is, like, she was... What I mean by perfect is she wasn't perfect like listening to me. She was perfect in that she didn't care a thing about the other horses. She didn't do her stop spin away from horses. She was very well behaved in the arena with other horses. But she was still hollow, not really wanting to listen. So we worked on that for a while. Yeah, she's finding like, every bit of grace. Yeah. Should I eat your breakfast? I know, I fed her, but she was still eating fine. Good too excited. Good morning. Good morning. Um, Mia in her Galway stall. I wonder if she'll pee if I ask her to pee here. Right. I know, I'm taking her off though, she's thirsty. Good morning. Good morning, how are you? I'm great, how are you doing? Yeah, chilly. A little chilly. A little chilly. A little bit. Hi, Gretchen. Good girl. Jamie, nice meeting you. Try that one, okay? San Diego. She has water in the other one. Try the other one, Mia. Mia, go pee? You want to go pee? She almost looked like she wanted to go pee. Go pee. Go pee. Go pee. Yeah. Go pee. I know there's a lot going on, huh? Go pee. Go pee. Go pee. I haven't trained a song yet. She did it. She listened to your training. See, Jamie? It works even here. Pretty awesome. Pee on command. I'm impressed. Uh, she's thirsty, but I need to refill her other bucket. She's got half a bucket left. Good girl. Good girl, man. Yeah, now Good she's going to work on her breakfast. She goes, spill my water. I know. Yeah, that's my girl. So, middle of the night decorations for Kirsty's birthday. Before 5.30, there's a pinata hanging over there. Right there, a pinata full of peppermints. Decorated stalls all the way down the line. Cute. Is that Mia? No. Oh, okay. Someone else? Yeah. No, no, that's okay. No, no, no. Yeah. Well, I think I mean, there, I only have 
Okay. Oh, uh, well, I was saying, so they kept calling my name in the bar, like on the announcer thingy. Like, oh, we're looking for you, number 117, QRI Mozzie. We're waiting for you in the warm up. But then I'm like, like, I know, guys, my ride time is in 40 minutes. I don't want 40 minutes of warm up. I want, I already lunged her. I just need to hop on, supple her, get her to focus, relax, do a few things, and then do our test. The problem with a long warm up is we do our warm up, then when we wait, she just gets antsy and works herself up looking and just staring at things. I'd rather just have us do our work, go do our test, and be done. But uh, they were running late. They had to move the booth. Someone's having an issue with their horse up there. Oh, she's trotting downhill. Okay. Uh, anyhow, um, yeah, that was a little bit different. So I did my warm up and then she started to get a little bit worked up and wanted the jig instead of walk, which is why I don't like doing a long warm up. But I mean, she ended up being okay. And I do like the time I was given in the dressage ring. It's cool that they gave me longer than most, but I didn't quite need that long. But um, they weren't ready for me to start yet, so. I know, I noticed her warm up in, inside that arena was a smidgen better than her actual test. Because I was able to ask her for movements and not have to worry about running into other people. And maybe it's because where your mom was standing at that point. The footing was also not good in the warm up. It was, it's a new footing, I think. It's kind of sand based and it was just way too deep. And so she kept kind of losing her back in when she would track under and push. It would kind of like just yeah. stay. It would get left behind. Yeah. Um, yeah, she didn't like the footing. So, and people had lunged in it already. Lesson for the future is you have to take your mom, who's videotaping, over and, and you're going to have to... T Tell you where to stand yeah. because apparently Mia didn't like you standing in the corner when we were crossing our diagonal, like right at you. It was like, oh, here I am riding Mia. She sees you, she's all pretty, and she goes, what? And then when we go in the corner, she's like... <laughs> so you'll have to tell your like mom impression there. every time where to stand. <laughs> I, You know, I didn't think about it because when I was warming up, she didn't care. But it was the second I was in the test and I was going straight at you, which I hadn't done yet. That's when she cared. But then you're also closer to the soccer fields in the actual testing arena. That's yeah. another thing that she didn't have to contend with up, up above the warm up. But I mean, I need to go uh, change and pack up. Okay. <laughs> Oh, yeah, so she can't do it. And I said, so far, we yeah, got one more to go. So we come back from wandering around, and Mia's standing on her hay. What's her lunch? She's standing what? <laughs> with her ears pinned. <laughs> you know what she's saying? You left me here, lady. <laughs> that is hilarious. Over there. She did. Look, you can see the drag marks on the ground. Oh, yeah. She has like a mountain of hay. Well, it was over here when I first when I walked out. And yeah, I gave her lunch after I just saw her. Right. You're silly. What a smart horse. Man, it's getting windy and cold. Mia, what's the deal? She's very grown. She's in yeah. a mare mood. <laughs> she didn't She's want like, the saddle you on. You are not riding me for the second time today. <laughs> it's nap time. I still can't get over like. I guess it's comfortable. Actually, you can she did that on purpose. I know. She says, what do you mean I'm not uphill? I'm an uphill horse. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that crop. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Look at that crop. Being an audience, that was great. So, uh, so funny, she's standing on her head. Did you want to... Walk with me out to the car to bring it around. Oh, um, I can. Okay, I'm gonna. I'll take her first, then I'll come back. <laughs> then we can eat. Then we'll yeah. go with the car. Yeah, we can do that. The saddles are professionally okay. fitted. It's not a saddle thing. Oh no! I know. It's a mare thing. So well, between the two of us, we should have got some. Shots. That was Ami last night when I tried to put a blanket on him. Yeah. He'd walk to the far end of his corral, so I'd follow him, and he'd walk to the other end. She checks you out, but she doesn't like she nibble. Happens, but she never goes through all me of it. She came through. Ricky, Ferris. Are they calling your name? Yeah, they just said my name. They said they're jumpering. <laughs> Let's go find out. I don't know. I'm only doing 80s. That's all I entered. Hmm. Oh, they want to finish it up and they think you're still in that class? No, they haven't even done 75 yet.
Well, Abby's always better for second ride because he's calmer under shoes too. Why are you standing so nicely, Mia? You're so calm. You are. Probably until you don't up. What are you doing, Mia? Chilling, eating? Chowing down. She's super relaxed. She's behaving really well. I'm just letting her eat grass to kill some time. She's just... I don't even know if she chews it. It's just bite, bite, bite. Inhaling it. Oh, that horse is having fun over there. Good girl. I'm surprised she didn't react to that. What did the horse do? Uh, the horse in the turnout was galloping around, bucking and leaping in the air. Which normally would have set her off. But I think she's happy enough with the grass. Warming up for her first jumpers class. So how did you think of the warm-up? It wasn't bad at all. I mean, she's relaxed. I, won't, I don't know what that was. I don't know if I'd call her calm, but she did really well with the other horses. She only cared about the horses in the lower arena that were acting up, and she jumped great. She did really well with them rushing up behind her with a pretty good pace and close to her. We're jumping like right, as, right next to us while we're jumping, mm -hmm. but I mean, she did well. Um, I'm trying the Hackmore at a show for the first time, and she's a little bit stronger than normal. But I mean, it, I still have control. But whether or not we have steering is to be determined. <laughs> so uh, we'll see. Okay.
Last one. Bummer. Okay. Here's Miss Super Hard on herself. That's what happens when you already do it really well once, then you take your horse for granted, then you stop riding and take your leg off and lean forward. That's what happens. And when your trainer shows up to watch. Yeah, I kind of got a little nervous because, well, I mean, she's critical, but that's what we're here for. Yeah. But uh, I should have rode that a lot better, especially compared to the first. But I mean, she was happy as can be, though. She bailed my butt out like three times. Well, she's learning her job then. That's good. She is. I just wish she wouldn't have to do it for my air. I wish I would have done the air on purpose to teach her, but. It's still a learning experience for her. Yeah. She ripped her velvet though. Second award. Okay, we're pausing to feel the results. Oh, I, before I bought it, right? Wait, right by the porta potties. <laughs> oh, it smells lovely. Oh. Okay, so show me what you got. Uh, we got first place and a second place. Um, but there very well could have only been one or two people in my division. I don't know. I don't know who was in junior amateur and who was in open because we did the open class. So I have no idea. Like we could have gotten first out of one. There was um, at least a hundred people. And then it has a ten, <laughs> listen to the dad. Has a ten dollar <laughs> gift card. For the Thoroughbred Classic, like merchandise. Mm -hmm. So, not too shabby in here. That's actually way hour. better than I expected. But then again, like I said, that could be only one or two people. Hey, it's her first outing. I'm very, she looks way um, better than I expected. I'm very happy for you. She wrote a lot like she does at home. <laughs> like, I told you, you were wondering, and I said she'll be just like at home. Yep. Away. That was a little bucky thing. Yeah, I was like, yeah, really? Is that necessary? Very interesting game. Great backgrounds. First the porta potties, now the poop pile. Yeah, this is like <laughs> this place is pretty, but we're going by all the not so pretty backgrounds. Oh, we'll Ooh, Mia. We added more shavings for you, girl. You like your new bed? Is it fluffy enough for you for tonight to sleep? You like it? Do you approve? Do you approve? You gonna eat them? Now we are walking the cross country course. Getting ready for tomorrow. Dark. Staying one side, that one is a prelim option. 